So with October right around the corner, I've noticed that my window hologram videos have, you know, kind of picked up views in that, but I've actually got some more information that would benefit you. And the big thing is whether or not you can use a shower curtain for your background. Well, the answer is yes, you can. I just tried it and I liked it so much I'm going to leave it up and here's why. So we have these two big picture windows in the front of our house. And before, they each had a split on them. It's just how they were manufactured back in the 60s. Well, we replaced the windows, and it's all one solid piece of glass. So it's this beautiful canvas to do really whatever you want with. So I thought, hey, why not get it some new material and uh, have an unobstructed view, a much larger screen for window holograms this year. So rather than going back to either Rose Brand or Carl's Place for some of the material that I've described in the, the past, which is that uh, heavy-duty gray rear projection material, because that would have cost me anywhere from 70 to 80 bucks, because these windows are huge, seven feet by eight feet. So I found on Amazon, I found a shower curtain, just a frosted shower curtain, and I think it was 12 or 13 bucks. I'll put the link down below. And I got it because I had read, you know, some forums where some people had tried it and they said it worked fine. And I was surprised. It actually worked really, really well. So what I will tell you is that the shower curtain actually lets more light through. So I think you're going to get a better picture that way. But it's also less forgiving than that gray material. So the only thing that means is that you're probably going to have to stretch that shower curtain to get rid of those folded wrinkles, which is just the way that it comes packaged. And the shower curtain I bought also had some residue, some powder residue. It's probably just left over from the manufacturing process. So I just took a, a clean, damp rag and I kind of wiped that off. But I was blown away at the picture quality. Uh, super great. You can't really see into the house or anything like that. But I'll add a caveat too. I changed the projector that I'm using. So I had last year I bought two projectors, and I'll put the link to those down below, that were about $200 each. Now they're even cheaper at $150. They still work great. I think they're awesome. But I wanted to buy a new one because with these new windows that are unobstructed, I really wanted to take advantage of the whole surface of the window. The old projectors that I have, old, a year old, um, there's no zoom feature. So I couldn't zoom the picture in uh, I went as big as I could go and I still had space at the top and bottom and I just felt that I wasn't really uh, capitalizing on all the surface area the window had to offer. So I found the same company that made an even better version of, of their projector. The lumens are a lot more, uh, I want to say the lumens are like 2,000 more than uh, what the other projectors have. And that made a huge difference in the picture quality. I mean, it is so, it's like looking at a TV from across the street. It's unreal. And naturally I, I wanted it because it had the zoom feature. Well, I probably wasn't gonna buy it just because of the price. It was about 240 or 50 bucks. Well, they had some deal going on where it was 40 or $50 off. So I couldn't pass it up. I thought, oh, I'm, I'm just gonna try it. So it worked great. I'll probably sell one of my other uh, projectors to a friend of mine but so if you're interested again do your research and you know I always say that the lumens and the native resolution you want high numbers on both matter of fact this projector this new one that I bought is 1080p and uh, boasts being able to um, handle 4k picture quality real quick do not confuse supported resolution with native resolution they're completely different things and the native resolution needs to be high, and I recommend at least 1280 by 800. So Atmos FX sells a digital decorating kit, and they give you a, pro a projector with it for like 130 bucks, and they have some material they give you. But they don't even list how many lumens are on the projector, not even in the user manual. And the native resolution is only 800 by 480. And I started out with a projector like that, and I was really unhappy. It's terrible. Do not buy that kit. Go to Amazon and get something that's a lot better for probably the same amount of money or cheaper. And speaking of Atmos FX, on one of my previous videos, they put a copyright claim on it. Why, I don't know, because everything I included was fair use for sure. And I did them the favor of listing their website in my 
video description. So that's why I'm not going to list their website in this description, but if you want to know where you can get those digital downloads, you can go to Atmos Effects. Um, for the most part, most of their stuff is really good, although I will say they did not have an example of projecting holograms on a rooftop last year, but once they put the copyright claim on my video, uh, they must have got a good idea because now they advertise that. So a little side note there. So the, the quality of the picture was phenomenal. I'll put some video up in a second of uh, just how I have the front of my house set up right now. It's not even October, so I'm glad I got that part out of the way. I've got my cauldron creep in the other window with a little vignette uh, with black fabric around it so you can't see in the inside the house and so the projector doesn't interfere, interfere with it because they're right next to each other. So uh, if you had that question on whether or not you could use a shower curtain for your holograms, whether it's Halloween or Christmas, absolutely, you can use it. Just again, make sure you have some way of stretching that fabric because what I did notice on that lighter color uh, those folds, those creases are much more visible, but once, once I stretched it out a little bit, I can still see the, the, the folds in the fabric, but it's, uh, it's not really noticeable at night. What was really bad is when I first unwrapped it and just hung it from that top area without stretching it, it was uh, really evident that those folds were there. So just something to think about. I mean, if you want to save, you know, 50 plus dollars, and just do it on the cheap, I absolutely recommend going with the shower curtain.